Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. This is Jake. It's your weekly update. Make sure you post this on all of your platforms. Get the word out. Got a big Sunday coming up Big this Sunday. Week. Hey, Edward got me a cup of coffee this <laughs> Sunday. Last Sunday, many of you agreed with me. It was actually Thursday. Or last Thursday. last Thursday. But last Sunday, people were coming up to me, agreeing with me that not only did you wake me up early, you didn't offer me a cup of coffee. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the so, house, went to a quiet Boston, place where he prayed. My son turned 16, got his license, got his car. He takes Ainsley to school now. Got an extra 30 minutes of sleep, extra cup of coffee. I'm ready to go, baby! So really what you should do is that extra 30 minutes, you should be spending that in prayer and exercise. Prayer and exercise. So this Sunday, we're going to be relaunching small groups. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have an opportunity for you to take a card, tell us what you're looking for in a small group. I'm excited about this. And then I'm going to connect you to uh, some small group leaders, and you're going to be able to get plugged into a small group. We're also going to be having on the first three Sundays of every month after church, we're going to have small group connections where we're. Um, I've got two couples that are going to be helping me with that. They're going to be our future small group leaders, and you will be able to connect. We'll be discussing sermon-based questions. <laughs> It's going to be really cool. Yeah. Also have membership Sunday. Hey. Women facing cancer together Sunday. I'm excited, man. Membership. Get get in there. If you hadn't signed up, you hadn't communicated, you can just show up on yes. Sunday at 1130A101. It's that back hallway. Uh, many, many, many of you uh, have been asking about that. And I saw this list, your list the other day on your desk. I know there's more of you yeah. out there. Just because you take the class doesn't mean you're automatically a member or required to become a member. We're not that kind of church. Um, it, it's just to let you know who we are yeah, and, and, and kind of more of what we do. And so and why we do it and why we do it. It's, it's huge. Uh, I was thinking this last week. One of the statements y'all use in that is we do church for those that are under 50. If you reach the age of 50, mm -hmm. it's now our opportunity to support to reach the next generation. And I'm reminded of that every time you do membership, nice. how important that is that we remember that we're reaching the next generation right. and i'm in that over 50 that's right now. you graduated from church I, I, yeah so it's my opportunity to support that so uh get in there those are the kind of things you learn of why we do what we do also last sunday was incredible uh 10 baptisms we have three baptisms coming this up this sunday, sunday. If you've not been baptized, you've not been obedient in your salvation in that area of baptism, we would love, love, love uh, to talk to you, Jake, David, Andrew, me, Ashley, Kristen, uh, whoever you connect with on our staff or elders, we would love to um, uh, get you in those baptismal waters. And uh, in fact, Jake, we are just in faith. We're buying that other baptistry that we had up on stage. Oh, yeah. Just so we can keep doing that. And We're preparing just, for rain. Man, I'm telling you, I, I, it's, man, it was one of the best Sundays we've had in a long time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it really it was. Up was. There. It, it was It was good. I'm not going to say it's the top it's Sunday. It's up there. But it, it's kind of like debating good. the top five NBA players of all time. You really can't. I mean, it's just so you just say, yeah, it's up there. He's up there. Kareem's yeah. up there. Except in the fact that you could say the Dallas Cowboys are the greatest franchise. Hey, speaking ever. of the Dallas Cowboys, Friday night, high school football. Hey. And the and the high school band Way to serve. and Way cheerleaders. To serve. Yeah. They get back on the field. Uh Hawkins football, Hawkins Athletic Booster Club, uh, looking for some volunteers to help in the concession stand. This yeah. is one of the ways we intersect our community. Mm -hmm. And Wear so summit shirt. Some, of summit us, shirt. some of us have already signed up to do that. I'm looking for five more people that can help us in the concession stand. It's an outreach opportunity because people see, hey, Summit Heights Fellowship, Does these Christians me? are serving. Does that five include me? I need five. Plus, I've already got you. I need okay. five more. All right. All right. So just... reach out to me, Jake, at SummitHeightsFellowship.com or comment in the comment section or call the church office today. Five people. That's all I need. I need five more people. We can do this. Hey, and that's an opportunity, like you said, to intersect our community, that, that we love our community. Uh, we just have the opportunity at Hawkins to be able to really get personal yeah. and, and we've been given that opportunity. So let's, let's do it, man. Let's love on people and have another Sunday like we had, you know, yeah. I mean, there's relationships, long relationships that we've been with, uh, for in this community that we're now seeing people come to Christ. So, uh, great way to do that. What else we got this week? You said women facing cancer this Sunday. Is that women right? facing cancer together. Yeah. We'll meet this Sunday membership after the deal, small groups. I'm really excited. Jesus did some really 
like no, don't give it away don't out it there away. things. I'm not going to give it that yeah, uh, give it away. away. But when you think about all the things that Jesus did, tore down religious walls, uh, how he interacted with women, which was kind of taboo in that culture, he did something that I think might be the most outrageous, wow thing Jesus did, and not very many people talk about it. We're going to talk about it Sunday. Man, that's a good tease. Mm -hmm. That's a good tease right there. Hey, Summit, by the way, uh, Summit House Fellowship is your church. If you want it to grow, it's up to you. So bring somebody with you. What a great tease for the Sunday sermon uh, that we're going to be here on Sunday morning. So bring somebody with you. Again, this is your church. It's in Jake's church. It's in my church. Well, it can't yeah, be I mean, your church because you're over 50. Uh, that's right. But, but listen, if you want it to grow, bring somebody with you. Invite somebody. If you can't be here this week, join us online at our platforms. Uh, just, I'm telling you, exciting things are happening right now. Um, so bring somebody with you. Got anything else to say? If you stay week? to the end, send us an email, yeah, send hey, us a text. So I'm going to go ahead and say this. Let us know about the concession stand volunteers. See this right here? Right yeah. When we first started, my head was like right yep. there. I thought there was like a hole in the atmosphere. I thought you put a piece of black tape on the camera. I thought there was so like you'd a know, hole. Like we, we were fixing so you'd know where to put your head. It was kind of weird. I, in fact, I... We never had that angle in there. <sighs> Summit, we love you. Bring somebody with you. We say Sunday, 10 o'clock. You did. You, you said did. Sunday. Yeah, we will see you Sunday. How's that? 10 o'clock. Uh, we or we'll you. see you Friday night at the concession stand. That would be even better. Get with Jake. Jake at summitheightsfellowship.com. We love you. I'm turning the camera off now. Oh.